Welcome back to the UHC Elytra Rush and the snapshot 45A, well 15W45A. Last episode I killed the dragon. I have successfully murderized the dragon. And now I don't understand this. I've never I didn't I haven't played with those at all. Okay. So, the problem is, I have messed up. I did not set my spawn in the bed, so I had to go into this area immediately. And this is a trouble, this is a trouble, literally. Because, I don't have nearly enough resources to travel in this dimension. I don't have, well I have some healing materials, but not that many. I can use this, this out for food, so that's okay. I have limited stone and wood, so pickaxes for grabbing more blocks to bridge over places is, uh... It's tough. Now, the travel itself is kind of peaceful in this area. Because I'm just, like, going forward and that's it. <laughs> There's not much danger involved. Um, there's gonna be more of me trying to get through huge gaps in the land. I wanna do this, I think. Probably mess up some... Did I even do it? No, I haven't. That's... Okay, 14 is fine. Can I? No, 24, no. I do not want 24. Okay, I'm back. I am at 14 render distance. And there's nothing in front of me. Okay, let me get away from the edge of the void. And eat this while looking down. Because I'm afraid of looking at the Enderman randomly when I do this. Okay, so this way is a no-go. I want to just explore the most of the landmass I am on, just in case I can see something in the distance. I don't know why my render distance was so low in the first place. Uh, yeah, I th might have decreased it for the amplified terrain, because amplified terrain is a killer for your, well, everything. I feel like this dimension is cool, but it's should have more things. It's basically two blocks everywhere. And stone. And then these guys. And Enderman. And that's it. This is not a very varied terrain. Even if you look into the nether, which is quite monotonous, the nether is way more complicated than this. So I can freely run, because I have a bunch of food. I never had so much food in this world. Um yeah, okay, I suppose I have enough time with this slow development that I'm gonna be doing right now. I hope I find this at least the city in this episode so that I can try to fight it in the next one. Because if I if it's gonna be roaming like this for multiple episodes, probably gonna edit that out. Because you know this is not very dangerous. It's like, I don't expect myself to take any damage, unless I have to travel across a space right between the two. Hello, phone. Can you please do not, not do this to me? Bye, phone. Just throw it away. Everything's fine. Okay. Can I eat it one more? Thank you. I hope I'm still facing the same direction. Because if I'm not, that's gonna be trouble. But I feel like I am. No, it shouldn't rotate me, right? It's just uh, uh, the cords relative to my current situation. Oh crap, there's a way through 
to this side. I feel like it's gonna be a dead end. And over there. What is this? I see in the distance there. Can I get a little bit closer? Render this in? No, that's nothing, that's just an island. Okay, let's go this way then. And hope for the best. So, I've been thinking, if I manage to get the elytra, which at this point seems pretty possible, because the dragon, like, the big fish is behind me, the dragon. And I've managed to succeed. I've, it was... I don't know, I feel so proud of myself for doing the dragon so well. I wasn't pre... pre well. But the point is that was the... F I've tried it off camera a couple of times, failed every time. Then I <laughs> managed to go and do it with people watching, like on camera. Which is more difficult because you're stressed as well when you're doing this uh, you know, on camera. And you know that people will be watching this so I am I'm really surprised I did it it's like crazy surprise C crazy surprised I was sure that this is going to be the end of the series like it was all fun and games and now I well I'm dead because this was too hard playing while well, killing the dragon with Ooh, hi hello with no natural regeneration in the snapshot I just took a screenshot, thank you. But I did it. Now getting the elytra is a thing. And after that, now I wonder. Problem is I'm gonna go out at spawn, so I'm gonna have to try... Travel to the base. I think I'm gonna travel through the nether, now that I know that there's like portals linked to the first portal I've made. Which was actually right by spawn, so that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna re re revisit that area. And. Hi, don't you walk into my line of sight, thank you. Yeah, I feel like I should cross this area. This is a nice, peaceful. Yeah, I'm gonna grab, grab some blocks. Can I do slabs with those? I'm not sure if I can. If I could, it could be pretty sweet. I know you can do bricks, but I don't think you can make slabs actually. Okay. Um, hi. That's gonna have to be. Oh no, not necessarily. I can still like go forward a little bit here. But coming back through all these places will be a pain. Okay. No, <laughs> this is quite stressful actually. Bridging over void like this. Nothing is happening here. See, that wasn't that scary. I'm on the other side now. Okay, that was a success. Now, I'm gonna have to travel through the nether back to my place. I'm gonna grab some resources. And I think I'm gonna go back into the nether. I'm gonna travel for a bit, X and Ferris style. If you don't know what X and Ferris is, then you should probably look, at, look it up. But X and Ferris is a game mode I invented when basically the game takes place in the nether and the goal is to try to escape from the nether. I wish I could like leave something be yeah I can leave a piece of cobblestone. Oh I apparently looked at you guy. Okay. Well I'm gonna have to kill you then. That's good. More ender pearls. Are welcome. No, you didn't drop any. You stingy bastard. Okay. Now I'm really excited for the loot from the town, though, because uh, 
the gear that is in there technically should be end game and like it's people say that it's useless because when you get there in the game you probably have better gear than what you have in the chest but I don't I'm definitely gonna improve on gear once I'm in the chest <laughs> so I'm excited to do that probably gonna maybe gonna have a diamond pickaxe even but this would be great now the point of X and Ferris initially was to travel in the nether like okay I have to tell you a story because that's actually a, there is a story to it it was back on the stumble survival server season 2 I th we had a world border and I was exploring in the nether somewhere and I went out into the overworld and back into the nether but the world border messed up the portal and I ended up far away like really in a weird place in the nether and I actually went naked just in case so I set my spawn before and I went naked but then I re realized that I should probably kill myself now if I wanted to go back but I didn't want to I decided to travel between the nether fortresses like I, I had like 32 cobble and 8 logs of wood and I decided to use those to travel through the nether, uh, the, the nether between the nether for fortresses to get enough obsidian from the chests and the thing uh, flint and steel from the chest well, that's actually pretty common and use that to get out of the nether like this so I traveled in the nether and I died well but I um, I managed to loot 14 nether fortresses or so before I died so that was pretty exciting that was like people were rooting for me to succeed <laughs> and I died like an idiot too I just walked off into lava from a <laughs> from a place but it was really cool so we decided to make a game mode out of it and Tom my friend Tom has written a plugin for different well basically I had some resources well we modified the nether so that it's possible to just well just use be just be in the nether never have to leave the nether so that there's there was spiders in the nether and endermen in the nether and the goal was to kill the dragon thank you endermen don't walk in front of me like this okay I'm gonna try to bridge over to there then so we played it and I have a I have it recorded on my channel you could you could look it up if you want okay I suppose uh, but it was a long time ago actually and we f were making plans for making a season 2 which was more PvP oriented the same idea but PvP oriented and we have finalized most of the plugin and then I kind of died out because the teams that were interested in it were no longer interested in it but we might still end up doing it sometime in the future but anyway I'm gonna try to simulate this in here I'm gonna try to go into the nether so that, that and travel in the nether and get out far away from the spawn and get out when I get the enough obsidian to make a portal of course of course that all is assuming I don't die while trying to get the elytra which you know I might just fall into the void in a second here that's not that unlikely <laughs> the void is quite dangerous here and and yeah so once I'm out of the nether in the new area I'm gonna look around and see if there's a water temple maybe I will go to loot the well to destroy the guardians in the water temple because that's a cool thing to do with no natural regeneration and the like and um, when, when that's done I could go try to do the wither maybe oh, I shouldn't be eating that although I, that doesn't really matter right now as much yeah, this is not the best food th this item and I'm wondering if it was cooked would it work you you 
You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not eating anymore right now. Um, I, I want out of here. I do not want to be here. Uh, I'm gonna find a better way to go through. Now, the four horsemen of the apocalypse that I want to find are pretty difficult to find from what I understand because it's it's a rare occurrence. Mm, as to the quest to kill all the mobs, yeah actually I might just do this once I'm out of the nether after I'm out of the end. <laughs> I will try to get to kill every single mob in the game. That will involve me finding a mine shaft because I need to kill a cave spider. So you know, be tune in for that. I will uh, then get melons as hi. I didn't look at you. Uh, the redstone gate. One of my very avid co commenters, which who is a very helpful person, commented that I should have melons. Well, she actually commented that about the dragon file, but once that comment was uh, existing, I has already I have already killed the dragon. So. <laughs> It was a little bit too late, but yeah, that's that's actually a good point because golden melons is a way to heal myself, like a renewable way. Because I could just have gold. Well, I don't really have that much gold, so yeah, not much really. But still, if I get the oh my god, what's the name? The water monument. There's gonna be a lot of gold in it, and I could use that to make healing potions for days, and that would be really, really good for me. So yeah, I'm. I'd probably like to find a, some melon seeds in the process too. While I have that gold. Now I don't have the timer on my screen because that's basically a rule, basically how I play this. So I'm gonna look. Because I'm recording for a bunch of time here, and I'm wondering if I'm getting near the end of the episode, which I might. Let me see. Indeed I am. So, yeah, I just have like two minutes. Actually, a little bit more because I restarted my Minecraft in the meantime, because I crashed. Okay, I'm gonna just go for a moment here, again, and again, and again. These towns will not be kind enough to spawn for me, won't they? I just ate! Okay, I didn't eat all that well, much, actually, I think, so. so. I got scared because I got teleported right next to the void. This is not the best food, yeah. Okay, can I go? Yeah, I can go through here, still. Uh, you are walking at me. I have four. Let me put this on my bar. It's not like I need it against the Enderman, but against Shulkers, I will definitely need those. Um, I feel like I'm walking in circles a little bit here. Probably am. Am I not? Okay. What is this in the distance there? That's nothing. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's make a deal. This is the episode where I roam and search for the thing. And the next episode will be at the thing. So basically, I will just go around and look for the fortress, uh, for the end town. I will be recording at all times, just in case an enderman, a rogue enderman attacks me, or I fall into the void and die, so that I have that on screen. But I will not be like actively commenting, because I'm just gonna edit out everything that is not very exciting. And I'm gonna just post a compilation of whatever happened to me in the meantime, before an actual footage from the town so yeah I'm gonna see you in the next episode in the end town because this is not dangerous at all so there's no point in me just keeping you <laughs> looking at oh god yeah this is actually scary but, but uh, there's no point in me keeping you watching this dull terrain yeah so let me take off my hat 
I want to be a nice person. Bye bye guys. Fallout.